Hi, my name is Julianne, and today I will be reviewing the audio drama Hello from the Magic Tavern, which is not real. This totally fake fantasy podcast features Arnicha and Usador as they meet interesting characters during their journeys of food. I'm very excited to share it with you guys. Also, I love this podcast so much that I named my Animal Crossing Island Foon, so definitely recommend this podcast. When I say writing, there isn't really any. Most of the show is improvised. I don't know this for certain, but I suspect that there may be bullet points for episodes and we base like the plot of the episode around those bullet points, but the details are definitely made up in the moment. You can definitely tell <laughs> that they're just making it up on the spot. The improvised side of the show allows for so much uh, comedy, humor, and creativity. I think because of the fantasy element, the improv helps enrich the show somehow. There are three main characters. Arnie, Danny Camp, Chan, and Usador. <laughs> I messed up immediately. <laughs> there are three main characters. Arnie, Danny Camp, Chan, and Usador. Twelve the wizard. <laughs> there are three main characters. Arnie, Chan, and Usador. Wizard of the Twelve Form of Ephesius. Master of Light and Shadow. Manipulator of Magical Delights. The Devourer of Chaos. The Champion of the Great Halls of Tarakis. The elves know him as Fian Yellick, the dwarves know him as Sonan Hustanchis, and he's known in the Northeast as Gaswinius Maystar, and there's other names you may- that you do not know. My favorite character is Chen. He's a shapeshifter who mainly looks like a badger. And don't get me wrong, I love Arnie and Usador. <laughs> I won't say his full name again. But Chen is just so funny. Everything he says, he- he just steals the show, like, every single time. I- I love him so much. On the podcast, they- interview different people and creatures that live in Foon. Many famous people voice these characters, like Felicia Day and Rachel Bloom, which are um, were two people that I'm definitely familiar with, so that was kind of exciting to see, but like they have a whole cast of just different people, and some of them were actually reoccurring, which is really cool to see. You'd be surprised by how many people were on the show. I was recently, well, I'm re-listening to the entire show with my boyfriend, and we were listening to an episode, and they have the voice of Baymax. So that's just so cool. It'll be it's really fun to look up the names of a bunch of people because I'm like, wait a minute, I know this person. Um, so it's 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 fun. <laughs> My favorite guest is Flower. Uh, she's a flower, and she's just so funny and salty and sassy and just my favorite. <laughs> Hands down, best character. And I know I said that Chunt is my favorite, but I can have two, okay? <laughs> Plot. That's a good one. Okay, fine. Arnie fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King into the magical land of food. Luckily, he still gets a Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King through the rift, so he uses that to upload a weekly podcast chronicling the quest to defeat the Dark Lord. And a good chunk of the podcast takes place in the Vermilion Manitar, located in the town of Hogsface in the fantastical land of Foon. Each episode, the boys interview a different guest, usually someone from Foon, but occasionally someone from outside of Foon. Sometimes it's a flower, a blacksmith, or even a giant toe. You never know what you're going to get in Foon. As I've previously mentioned, the show is improvised, so the world is built in the moment. Because of the nature of the podcast, none of the details are thought through, but it does lead to hilarious moments because you're not really expecting anything. <laughs> it's fun to hear the different guests on the show because each person brings something new to the world because, like I said, it's improvised. You don't know what this guest is going to bring into the world, and so it's always fun to hear the different characters they come up with and how that just enriches what's going on, you know, like that enriches Foon even more and it makes it feel even bigger because there is a bit of an ensemble like cast, so it just kind of like, it brings life to the world. Hello for the Magic Tavern is one of my favorite podcasts of all time. I wasn't expecting to like it or enjoy it as much as Welcome to Night Vale, Welcome to Night Vale you know, was that first podcast for me and had a special place in my heart. But there's just something about Hello from the Magic Tavern that it's just taken over my heart. Maybe it's Usador's powers coming through, you know, <laughs> but I just, I genuinely love this podcast and it's, 
it might be my favorite podcast of all time, but I don't know. I, there's just so many good podcasts. It's, it's hard to place a number one, you know? I feel like there's so many where I'm like, they're all number one. But yes, this podcast is just so good. <laughs> the show has made me laugh just so hard <laughs> so many times, I, like to the point of like actually crying. And I don't remember what I was talking about, but I remember having a conversation with my boyfriend about the show and I just started laughing so hard. Like I can't even remember what the joke I was explaining was about, but I just laughed so hard that I was crying while I was trying to explain what the joke was in the show. So just talking about the show makes me happy, <laughs> you know? It's just, uh, it's just so funny. So like I previously mentioned, you know, like this is such a good show and I would recommend it to anyone. As long as you're 18 plus, this is definitely an adult show. <laughs> There's adult themes and jokes and just so much, uh, so, so many talk about that kind of stuff. So I would definitely say if you're younger, you shouldn't listen to this. Just a fair warning. It's an adult show. <laughs> But other than that, I think you should all go listen to Hello from the Mountain Tavern. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> also, I'm not afraid to admit that uh, part of the reason I'm making this is so that they put me on the podcast, okay? I want to be a mermaid pirate, okay? I want to be a mermaid pirate on Hello from the Mountain Tavern. And I just, please, Army, me camp, if you're, if you're watching, hi, I'm Julianne. I genuinely want to be on the show because... Like, I'm not even, like, into, like, improv in general. Like, I like watching improv. I'm not somebody who's done improv. But I, I, will, I will watch a YouTube video. Please let me on the podcast. <laughs> okay. Um, on an, also, on an unrelated note, I mean, it's related, but um, I did go to Chicago. I am fully vaccinated, so do with that information what you will. But, um, but I did go to, end up going to Chicago, and I got to see... The Burger King. Yes, I took tourist photos of a Burger King in Chicago because of a podcast. There are three main characters. Arnie, Chunt, and Usador. Wait, no. There are three main characters. Arnie, Chunt, and Usador. And that's not the inflection I was looking for. Okay. I, I see a neighbor. Okay. They didn't, look, they didn't see me. Okay. Cool. I feel like I'm about to go into battle with his name. There are three main characters. Arnie, Meekamp, Chun, and Usador. Was <laughs> Why am I giving this wrong? Okay, come on. A good chunk of the podcast... Uh, blah, blah, blah. And a good chunk of the podcast takes place in the Vermilion Men... And Men... Minotaur. 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 Each episode, the boys... <laughs> oh, inter I'm just laughing because it's... Boys night. The elves know his being yelling. The dwarves know him has So then who stands you. I can say it when he's saying it, but it's really hard just like staring at myself saying it. <laughs> okay, let's try again. The dwarves know him as Gaswinius. Wait, of course. No. And the Okay. Got this. Wizard of the twelfth round of Theseus. Why? <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Okay, I got this. Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, <laughs> champion of the great house of Tarakus. Oh my god. Devourer of chaos, the great champion of Tarakus, champion of the great halls of Tarakus. <sighs> As I previously, previously, what is with my pronunciation today? If I can say his name without looking, will they put me on the podcast? I hope. Let's go. Master of Light and Shadow. <sighs> Manipulator of Magical Delights. Devourer of Chaos. Elves know my speed. <laughs> the Great Hawk. Champion of the Great Hawks. Champion of the Great Hawks. Champion. Great Falls of Tarakis. Why is that so hard? Okay, one more take, just in case, and if I fuck up, then I'm moving on. I gotta move on from this. I will beat Usador at his own name. Master of Light and Shadow. Chan- uh, <laughs> Known in the Northeast as Gaswinius Maystar, and there's other names you may- that you do not know. Okay, I did it. That's it. I can't. 
<laughs> I don't want to do another take. <laughs> I messed up slightly, but I don't want to do another take. That's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> you try saying it. Okay, if you guys are judging me for not being able to nail this line in one, in one go, you try doing it in one go. There are three main characters. Arnie Neekam, Chan, and Yuzador. Wizard of the Twelve Throne of Theseus, Master of Light and Shadow, Manipulator of Magical Delights, Devourer of Chaos, Champion of the Great Halls of Tarakas. The Elves know him as Fian Yellick, the Dwarves know him as Zonin from Stenges, and he's known throughout the Northeast as Gasmonia's Maystar. And there may be other secret names you do not know yet. It is difficult. <laughs> as long as you're 18 plus, this is definitely an adult show. There's adult themes and jokes and just so much, uh, so, so many talk about buttholes.